With residential colonies, colleges, offices employing security guards, many such companies have mushroomed trying to cash in on a need gap. Hurried background checks or employing young men without proper screening has led to a major problem. Repeated attacks on young women are taking place all over India, where the biggest security threat is from security guards themselves. A 25-year-old techie was murdered at her Infosys office in Pune. Rasila Raju from Kerala was allegedly strangled with a computer wire on the ninth floor and lower part of her face was badly distorted. A security guard from Assam was arrested in connection with the murder. It seems she was harassed by the guard and threatened to complain to his senior. That triggered the assault. Nearly two years after Mumbai lawyer Pallavi Purkas was brutally murdered inside her apartment, a Mumbai court in 2014 convicted the security guard of the building. Pallavi, a lawyer, was murdered in a rented flat in Wadala. A security guard of the building, Sajjad Ahmad Mughal, alias Sajjad Pathan from Kashmir, was held for the murder. This trend shows how women are vulnerable to attacks from security guards when they are supposed to be the key line of defence. Impunity with which guards are killing women shows a mindset highly distorted with bloated egos, unable to accept a no. In all these instances, women who became targets were stalked, approached, threatened by these guards before being attacked. A security guard confessed in 2016 to murder celebrity perfumer Monica Gurde. Accused Raj Kumar Singh, a native of Batinda in Punjab, was employed as a security guard at Sapna Raj, the residential complex the woman was living in but was sacked after she complained he was not doing his job properly. Gurde, 39, was found dead in her apartment around 10 kilometers from Panji. She was allegedly raped and strangled, the police said. Monica was very worried about staying alone, as her friends say. She would take extra precautions and ensure grills were fitted on windows. Yet, a security guard killed her simply because his object of affection spurned him. Dharanjoy Chatterjee worked as a security guard in Kolkata. He was hanged on the 14th of August 2004 after being charged with the rape and murder of Hetal Parekh, a 14-year-old schoolgirl in 1990 in her third-floor apartment in Bhawanipur. The National Crime Record Bureau data analysed for the period 98 to 2010 showed rape cases grew by 47% and molestation by 30%. So, in a gated community, if a woman is not safe, then what are the other parameters left to shield them? It is time all security companies re-evaluated their hiring process.